Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Nancy Friedman, the telephone doctor. All right, all right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm Nancy Friedman, the telephone doctor, and this is unusual, but it's going to happen, all right? We all know that the Patch Boy Conference got rescheduled. Do you notice I never use, Dick and I never use the word cancel. I don't cancel my hair appointment. I don't cancel my nail appointment. I don't cancel that. I move them. I change them. So we have moved the date. We don't know the new date, but that didn't stop Leo, Kurt, Beth, and any of the Patch Boy headquarters at franchisors from saying, hey, Nancy, let's bring them skills, ideas, tips, and techniques that they can still use. So that's what I'm gonna do. I am not sure if this is gonna last three minutes, five minutes, or 10 minutes. It won't go longer than 10, but I'll do a couple of them in the next week or two to give you some things that you can utilize as though you were at the conference. First off is very important. This was new for the conference, all right? I'm gonna do a twirl. I'll never be a model, but I bought this purposely. So it is Sunday afternoon and I'm wearing it for you. Little note, Nancy, you look great. That wouldn't hurt at all, seriously. All right, so what is Telephone Doctor? We are an international customer service training company. We help companies communicate better with their customers. That's the bottom line. Patch Boys helps improve their house. So how can we help you? I'm going to give you some techniques that were chosen by Beth. Beth and I worked together and we had, we had about, what do we have Beth, maybe 25, 30 little techniques from attitude to listening skills, to irate customers, to answering the phone, to all little things that will help you be better. Now, I'm not gonna bring them all to you, we just don't have time, but I will bring you two of the most important that I feel will help you today, even before the rescheduled conference, all right? So here we go. Now, I stumble and stammer. It's okay. This is me. This is how I speak. So you're getting the real thing, all right? This is, I don't have any lines to read. There's no prompter. You're getting the real thing. All right, so let's go to what we specialize in. Communication skills, customer service, and sales. That's what Telephone Doctor's all about, all right? That's the most important thing you need to know. Now, when your phone rings, that's the start of it all, all right? And I'm going to assume that I'm going to say 80% of your calls come in on the phone one way or another, the website, whatever. I need you to remember a few words. When somebody says, hi, I have a hole in my wall, or I need the patch boys to come, or however they start your conversation. This is gold, ladies and gentlemen. I'm about to give you gold, and not everybody gets it. I mean, receives it. It's a better word. Everybody gets it once I say it. So the phone rings, and you have said, hi, Excuse me. Hi, thanks for calling Patch Boys. This is Nancy. This is your first tip, all right? How do you answer the phone? Patch Boys is not very effective, all right? So scratch that. Hi, thanks for calling Patch Boys. This is Nancy speaking. How can I help you? It is too long and not necessary. So let me give you just an effective way to answer the phone. Common sense, yes. But wasn't washing our hands? I mean, isn't that common sense? And people weren't doing it. Do you know how to, well, that's another story. All right, so bottom line, common sense on the way to answer your phone. Simple, hi, thanks for calling Patch Boys. This is Nancy. You, of course, use your own name. You do get that, don't you? All right, hi, thanks for calling Patch Boys. This is Nancy. Stop, anything after your name will erase your name. How can I help you? It's not necessary on initial greeting. You're there to help. That's why you answer the phone. Secondly, and probably the most important, hi, thanks for calling Patch Boys, this is Nancy, allows the customer, the caller, to say, hi, Nancy, this is Bob Smith, or this is Mrs. Jones. They remember your name. Listen to me. Anything after our name erases our name. If you speak after this is, this is Leo, this is Beth, this is Bob, psh, your name is gone. And that's why people say, uh, what was your name again? Which is, again, not a telephone doctor technique. So your first technique is, how are you gonna answer the phone? What are you gonna teach your employees to say? Simple, big smile, and if it's not done with a smile, don't answer the phone, all right? Don't answer the phone without this. Hi, thanks for calling Patch Boys. This is Nancy. Stop. Well, hi, Nancy. I've got a situation, I got a problem. Now, the next words out of your mouth is technique number two. This is gold. This is absolute gold. The first words out of your mouth when they say, I got a problem, I have a hole in my wall, whatever it is, how late are you open? I don't care what they ask, but the answer is, well, you called the right place. 
Bingo. Yeah, I, know you, I knew you'd like that. Where you call the right place. My name is Nancy, and I'm speaking with... Thank you, Dick. I appreciate that. Now you write Dick's name down because you never, ever want to ask, what was your name again? That's a no-no. And I'm saying you write it down. I cannot tell you the number of places I call. I give my name when I call someplace. Hi, my name is Nancy, Nancy Friedman. And somewhere in the next 30 seconds, someone says, well, what was your name? Why the heck didn't they write it down? How can, and then I say, yes, I'll leave a message. You know what they say to me? Just a minute, I gotta get a pen and pencil. Why, or pen and paper? Why would you answer a telephone without a piece of paper and pen? I don't get it. I'm not saying that's why businesses fail, but it sure doesn't help them. Alrighty, so you've got two. Now the last one, my husband's giving me signals, and Dick, I'm just saying, these are important techniques. I'm gonna go my limit, which frankly, I don't, it's not that I don't care, how long I go, but we probably go eight or 10 minutes. Excuse me, it's something in my eye there. Told you we're gonna do this just in real life. All right, so you got two good techniques. The third one is very important, especially in these uncharted times. When you say hello, when you see somebody, when you walk into their house, on the phone, whatever method of communication you use, hi, how are you is not effective. Hi, how are you is social noise. I'm fine, how are you? Nothing happens. Ladies and gentlemen, there are so many other things to say. Good to meet you by phone. I'm so glad you called. Thanks for giving us a chance. There's three right there off the top of my head. Don't be starting off with, hi, Mrs. Friedman, how are you? Number one, it's a dead giveaway that you're just like everybody else. And trust me, Patch Boys isn't like anybody else. You've had a tremendous growth, a tremendous growth in a very short period of time. These will help. Now look, I don't like to say goodbye, because that's so final, but I usually wrap up with a poem and I don't have it right here. However, I will be bringing these, if Leo and Kurt and Beth approve this, and you get this, which means they approved it, I'll be sending you some other tips, ideas, skills, and techniques along the way. So we didn't cancel anything. Look, you got me. I love my new outfit, and I'm glad I got to wear it. Link up with me, Nancy Friedman. Yes, Nancy Friedman, a telephone doctor. Uh, my email, nancy at telephonedoctor.com. Doctor's all spelled out. I'm on YouTube. I'm on every social media. There's any way you, any way you want me, you can have me. That doesn't sound right, but you know what I mean. I'm Nancy Friedman, the Telephone Doctor. Glad you were here.